Hello, it's Chaplin73 and welcome to my channel. Um, here I am again interviewing another artist. Today I'm excited to um, say hello to Sam Maslanka. Hello Sam, how are you doing? I'm good, um, how are I, you? I'm, get, I'm very good, thank you, very good. Um, I will just jump straight in with the first question because because that's an opportunity to tell the audience um, who are you, what do you do and where are you based? Okay, well, my name's Sam Maslanka. Um, I'm a freelance artist, which sort of covers a bit of everything, um, mainly street art, but I dabble in resin and anything I can do. Mm -hmm. um, from Whitton, Essex, I've pretty much grown up here my whole life. Yep. Um, tried my hardest to use the surroundings to help me get creative, um, and I guess I've got that to thank quite a lot to where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. What, what's the art scene like in Essex? In, in Essex, it depends where you go. Um, right. it's Whitton itself, non, non-existent, unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you've got places around there like Chelmsford, Colchester, where you know, you've got a bit more of an art scene, a bit more of a creative vibe, um, which is, where I tend to go if a bit of inspiration. Um, I've done quite a lot of outside work, uh, murals in yep. Chelmsford. Um, looking to do more as well. <laughs> um, I've got some upcoming projects in and around these areas, which yep. will be quite big, if I'm honest. Uh, good deal of fun. It'll be great fun. Good, good. Um, yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the things that frustrates me about um, living in Cornwall is 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 that there is an art scene, but it's very much, um, I feel, um, a very a very limited art scene. It's it's not street art. Street art hasn't been embraced in in Cornwall at the moment. Uh, it's gradually getting there. You know, there's, there's little bits of it popping up every every now and again. But you'd think somewhere like Cornwall, where we have been, you know, St Ives used to be the the art capital um during during the war years you know we're going back many years now but you know we had a lot of famous artists living in cornwall at the time and and you think how cutting edge we were back then to how we are now I, it kind of frustrates me at times so so it's nice to hear about other areas in the country and and, and how the art scenes and growing yeah i mean i can imagine it is a bit limited also i can imagine it's very picturesque i'm actually quite jealous <laughs> um, <laughs> Nice. Um, oh, I'm not okay. complaining. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I love living in Cornwall, but it is miles away from everything. And, you know, obviously in Essex, you're, you're quite near London um, compared yeah, to me. I mean, um, you know, so, so, so you're kind of not far away from things if you want to go and get involved in stuff. Um, I mean, that does all trickle through as well. You do certainly notice bits and bobs mm -hmm. um, in growing up around here i mean jesus going to london was a big inspiration of why i do what i do now yeah um i remember going to camden specifically camden on the train and you know pulling into london it was like all this all this color this graffiti this oh it was wonderful and as yeah. a kid it was really quite fascinating for me um mm -hmm. found myself hunting for it you know wherever yeah. i went I was hunting for it and I just had to do it myself and yeah. when I did I, I couldn't really stop um yeah London it was uh it's good to be close to but then you've got like I say you've got Culture Store you've got Chelmsford which has its own uh art scene anyway I mean Chelmsford did have um a very big selection of uh, free walls where you could go graffiti and do anything you wanted really um all legal although i'm quite certain that's been gone for quite a few years now unfortunately see i i would love that i'd love i'd love i love the idea of free walls but um uh, uh unfortunately our council hasn't really embraced that idea and, uh, we, we... yeah I, mean, I think it's still got that sort of well, vandalism at the end of the day, well, isn't it? I think there's always the risk of that. And I, I remember the first time I went to Upfest in Bristol and um, I saw um, obviously all this beautiful art, amazing murals, fantastic artists from all around the world. And I was blown away by it. But then I was walking back to my car and I saw somebody's car had been tagged 
And I was like, I'd be so, I'd be so pissed if that was my car, you know. And yeah. I, and I kind of think, well, you know, there is that element of of people who will see it as an excuse to be able to just paint anywhere. And well, and unfortunately, that's what councillors see when they hear the word, you know, street art, graffiti, or whatever. They they think somebody's going to tag a wall or or coffee shop or you know a, a, a business or whatever, uh, or somebody's a, vehicle. And with that, you could have a hundred street art murals that are really you know fantastically beautifully done, but then like you say, you've got that one car that's tagged. And that is the one that will always be brought up as to why yeah. it won't happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. If, if it was your car, your house, your shop, whatever, um, you're going to be pissed, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, uh, and I understand that completely. But we do need some more legal walls where people can go and yeah. experiment, create, do whatever they want you know uh, and and actually grow in their artistic ability i find it really hard doing um freehand stuff and i'd love a wall to just go and practice on you know just go there each week and just do a bit and you know just ha yeah. just have a go i've got loads of spray cans but nowhere to actually spray that i could go and you know not know that i'm not going to get in trouble for it so i end up doing my spray and I, I the last time i sprayed was a um, western super mare and the time before that was a year ago at Western Supermare. So, you know, you kind of get a bit rusty and it would be nice to be able to. And I haven't got the room here to spray. And, you know, it's, it's kind of, yeah, the ventilation and stuff. So it's it's difficult. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've been quite lucky enough to have my own workshop of sorts. Um, so it is a place where I can go and spray. Um, mm -hmm. I do canvases a lot of my commission work is done there. Um, so I've been quite lucky because at the end of the day, if you're doing it at home, unless you've got good ventilation, yeah, big area to do it that you don't mind absolutely destroying with paint, um, mm -hmm. then you're going to struggle, aren't you? You're going to struggle. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and that's the situation I find myself in. Is it's like a year between me getting spray cans out, and it's it, it's just you well, you, you kind of starting well, from the start again, then, aren't you? You know. Yeah. Because you can't ever go in a year in between every time. <laughs> yeah. So, um, who or what influenced you growing up? I know you said you went into London and you saw art. Who or what? what which artists were there that you were thinking? Actually, I like that. There was, there was a mixture. There were so many. It, I mean, obviously, everyone remembers the first banks they ever saw. Mm -hmm. um, you're wrong. Uh, um, I like Banksy, I grew up on Banksy, I, but I wouldn't say that he influences my art at all. Um, but I do remember seeing my first one. And then with that, you get a bit of everybody, you know, which I, in popular opinion, I don't have a favourite artist, I don't have a favourite food. I'm very, like I said, I'm a very, very much born person. I don't have a favourite anything. But I just like, I just like everything. Like I say, it's hard for me to pinpoint an exact style that I do because I'm constantly, constantly learning. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of why I love doing this. It really is. I love to learn. And I mean, I can go from watercolour to picking up spray cans and stenciling, yeah. um, which is what I tend to go to with a lot of my art is to stencil. Mm -hmm. um i will do a mixture of freehand with that um recently i've been doing a few watercolors and trying to bring that street art with that finer kind of style mm -hmm. um and i've always just i don't know why i've always just enjoyed the, the look of these watercolors like that it's good fun it's just i enjoy doing it basically i do enjoy doing it yeah, I mean, I, I used to look at watercolour artists when I when I was quite young. My, my grandparents used to watercolour painting and, and yeah. I'd see them, you know, the, the, the typical, what you'd say was typical um, watercolour painting. And then I remember coming across um, Kurt Jackson, um, the watercolour artist, and, and 
and he what he did with watercolors was very very you know controversial and 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 risky at the time you know he, he kind of took it out of its safe zone and put it into this um into this different arena and you know he's there with stanley knife blades cutting the cutting the paper and then putting washes on and it looks suddenly looks like a field with full of grass and you're like yeah. wow you know uh, this is something we can do with this he's got toothbrushes and spraying them and you know you kind of like wow yeah this is this is you know this is different watercolor this is not not what i think of as watercolor and and yeah, yeah I, think, I think it's important for us to experiment isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's always important, I think, to show people the art and the process, because a lot of people I've found do have some idea in their head, usually a bit odd and usually quite wrong, <laughs> of what something is like. I mean, for instance, you saw that that artist, and it wasn't it wasn't in Anne's watercolors anymore. It mm -hmm. was like, oh, well, it, it could be something different. And that's what got you. Yeah. And I think important, especially especially for the younger generation, which I'm starting to go towards as well with my art. I mean, I'm going to be teaching at a local school. I think it's about 50 children now. Wow. Um, 10 at a time. I'm not a crazy man. I'm doing 10 <laughs> at a time. I'm not built for that. You know. <laughs> um, but, and that would just be so fun to show them i mean all, not all 50 are going to enjoy it i mean yeah. even if one goes out there and goes yeah that was fun i might give that a go yeah. cool as long as it's not on someone's car or fence then you know which i have <laughs> it's like you know i'm not i'm not teaching these kids to get in trouble there you know yeah yeah um, each of them to I did, the, I did the same. I was working with a charity not long ago and I was working with some homeschool children and um, some yeah. of them some of them yeah. thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. And yeah. It, it's, it's just something different, isn't it? You know, it, it, it's fun. You know, I mean, I remember this was in college now and we had a few people um, that came. I think one was James L. Dixon, I think his name was. And I, I remember this this man coming. He he had his own style, and I distinctly remember that day. You know, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, you know what? I want to do street art. I want to do something. I didn't know what. I just you know something I like about that. Let's let's just go at it blindly and see what we can pull out. Um, so yeah, I want to do the same. Yeah. I just, I just love the idea of art being on the street free for people to see and you know accessible and 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 you know you never know who's going to walk past it and see it okay definitely yeah i mean a, a lot a lot of my stuff involves words next to a picture and and it's kind of like a positive message or whatever and it's nice yeah, to yeah. think that somebody might be walking to work one day and see that and go oh that's cheered my day up or whatever yeah, exactly and i think if you ask a lot of artists that maybe paint in the wild or do whatever with the street art, they will probably tell you something similar mm. that you know they've likely walked past an image, a quote, something that's made them go, Oh, yeah, fucking hell, you know, in whatever context. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. I think art can make you change your thought process or stop you looking at your phone mm -hmm. when they've done something, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah whatever whatever style that is absolutely um so what advice would you give to somebody um who was starting out now um or wanted to um develop their creative practice what would you what would you say to them um well don't give up i know it sounds really quite cliche just generally don't give up mm -hmm. you will have a lot of days where you're thinking oh what am i doing like um yeah. days where maybe you feel like this isn't working mm -hmm. um you know um learn to rest not to quit just keep pushing on it mm -hmm. don't throw your work away either i think every artist has done some work and halfway through they've gone oh this is fucking it. Look, at this. look at this i don't want this and they throw it away yeah don't ever do that. <clears throat> some of my best pieces were destined for the bin yeah and these pieces have now been in my exhibit. I'm not going to tell you what ones, but you know, at some point they were looking to get a foot through the canvas. Um, it's just you've got to keep doing it. Um, mm -hmm. Experiment. 
right? If you're new to it, the first thing you do, you're not going to like yeah. pushing them. I mean, the first hundred things you do, you probably won't like them. And the more hundred after that, every art you're nodding your head, you say, you know it. Yeah. Every art is exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah, it's I mean, I, 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 th I think back to my teenage years when I used to try um, drawing with pencils and, and the amount of, the amount of screwed up bits of paper that would be on the other side of the room by the end of you just trying to do one you know, thing. I, what worked for me is if you get to that, put the drawing across the room and just go and sit down, have a fag, have, have a sandwich, do whatever, and then come back to it in a day. Nine times out of ten, you'll finish it and be happy with it. Yeah. It's just some, it ain't the day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which, Sometimes you do need to take a step back, don't you? Yeah. You know, look at whatever you're making as well. Look at it from multiple angles. Stand back. Look at it upside down if you have to. But look at it at multiple angles. Um, sometimes it might help looking at it through your phone, which sounds yeah. stupid, but it, it does work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just don't give up, man. And it's always good to go back to your old stuff that you don't like and show people that stuff. Don't ever be embarrassed about whatever your work looks like. Just keep doing it. Yeah. Um, it's good to see progress. Mm -hmm. You know, for yourself. You know, you're never going to be the best. No one is ever the best at, with art. You can't do that. It's, it's not how it works. If it did, it'd be pointless in doing it. Um, and I think that's why a lot of us do it. It's freedom, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I recently saw a post on Facebook where somebody posted a, a really old piece by um, a quite a famous artist. And um, they were like, oh, I've got this piece from however many years ago it was. And, and, and lots of people put underneath, I don't think this is an original. I think this is the copy, you know, th th this isn't to their standard or whatever. And the artist came in part of the way through the thread and went, yeah, that was one I did. You know, that was way back when I started. That's what I, yeah. that's what I painted like then, you know, and it was kind of like, it was a bit of an eye opener for people. I think that, 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 that his art was nowhere near what it is now that long ago because it's, he's been on a journey you know and and that's great you know I, I think it, I think it's fabulous that he was able to come in and say well actually yeah that is that is one I remember doing that you know but but it's changed we a lot we live in a world of social media where everything posted is perfect yeah. you know you very rarely get people to post the for instance the 40 screw-ups over in the corner everyone's got like oh, you know the bits that you need to go back to, you know, they don't know yeah. how long it's taking you to do. They just see the final product mm -hmm. and then think, oh, it just comes out the can like that. It, 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 you know, you can just do that off by heart. That, that's fine. No, it takes everyone time. Everyone struggles. Everyone has crap days. You've got to learn to um, keep doing it, man. Like you'll get people that outright just don't like your work. They may never even give you a reason. They just don't like your work. They might just not like you, but yeah. it gives you to carry on creating because you ain't creating for them. You're creating yeah. for your own peace of mind. And if other people like it, wicked, man. You know, that, yeah. that's a bug. I think that's there is an audience out there for everybody's art, isn't there? It's just finding And that, that's what I like to tell people as well. You know, someone out there is going to like that. Yeah. Someone's going to, oh, I like that. I'm going to give it a go. And mm -hmm. you've inspired. And to hear that you or something that you've painted or something that you've made inspired someone else to pick up a paintbrush, pick up a pencil, whatever, yeah, then that's that's like top level shit right there. That's cool. Right? You know, that's yeah, yeah, stuff definitely, like. definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, so my penultimate question is: if you could spend twenty four hours with another artist, living or dead. Um, you've got a time machine now. You can go back in time. Um, uh, who would you w want to spend 24 hours with and what would you get up to? Well, now, this is a question that I did think about a lot. Because <laughs> obviously earlier in the interview, I didn't say, I said that I don't have a favourite artist, anything, which is true. But I think if I had the choice to spend time with any other artist, it would be probably, if I could, a group of artists which would be the artists that I've, in the past year or two, met over on social media, such as yourself and everyone else, because yeah. I haven't met any of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. 
all these people that are creative in their own way. Oh, I love that. I love that. So, yeah, I think that's my answer for that. It would be you guys. All you guys. <laughs> I don't well, even that's know. Nice to know. And maybe we can arrange that. <laughs> I think we should, you know, being at like a paint jam or something with like minded people, yeah. I think is would benefit any artist mm -hmm. more than meeting their hero, meeting their celebrity, whatever, whatever. You're not going to get much from them. You want to meet likewise, like minded people that you have access to around yeah. you and how you grow, I think. And I think that's that's the best answer I can give them. That's, <laughs> a, that's a very good answer, a very well thought out answer. <laughs> usually, usually people are trying to choose between, you know, Leonardo da Vinci and Picasso and uh, Warhol. Famous, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to sit there, you're going to go to pub, you're going to sit and have a draw with them? Nah, come on. That's not going to happen, is it? You know, like, you, <laughs> no one's going to put anyone on the spot. You just, it's probably going to be quite, quite anticlimactic for you. So, they do right. say you should never meet your heroes, don't they? So, uh... yeah. I, it, it's, you know, I don't think it's good to have heroes. You know, <laughs> respect everybody. Um, Final question. Um, what's in store for you for the future? Do you have anything that you're currently working on or planning that you could share with us today? Lots. <laughs> um, there's there's stuff I can't talk about, mm -hmm. which is exciting, but there is some possible art festivals next year, mm -hmm. um, and possible graffiti workshops, perhaps. Um, I've got some NFTs coming up. Yep. More colourful canvas stuff. I'm sure a lot more resin and I'll likely find other things to fill the gaps as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot There's a lot to come, a hell of a lot. Um, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff. Did Hopefully you send something to a show in New York? Do I remember reading that? Today, actually. It was today that I sent them off. Uh, there done by Suffolk's stronger side in New Jersey um, and they're on an exhibit with I believe it was 40 other artists wow. um, there were some yeah. from America obviously and all over all over the town you know um, so I was lucky enough to be approached mm -hmm. and I've sent uh, two pieces I did some like it was just a watercolor graffiti mess <laughs> um iron man and spider man um which i thought that would be quite cool to send um a bit different so i sent them today um yeah i've recently done two other exhibits two of my mm -hmm. first and i'm looking to do more they brilliant fun. they're really good fun to do mm -hmm. just to see you are in a different setting i think yeah. it's quite important for the artist if you've got stuff which you're surrounded by it in your room, you, you, your artist, you know, whatever, your little space, and you've got it there. Well, it's no good there. Get it out <laughs> and show everybody. You know? um, you'll have fun. You will have fun. So, That's great. Yeah. It's great. Uh, it's great news. Um, and I will um, keep an eye on your social medias for um, upcoming things that you can't discuss. <laughs> oh, yes. They'll be, they'll be there soon enough. <laughs> brilliant well sam it's been lovely speaking to you um and it's great to actually you know finally get to meet you um and I've, I've seen your art online for a while so you know it's 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 just great to finally talk to you yeah? and hopefully one day we'll and actually meet in person so um, yes yeah, i mean that is definitely going to have to happen yeah. um there's a number of others which i think will be quite good to do obviously yeah, yeah. it'll be a bit of a journey for you but it'll be worth it it yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely <laughs> absolutely <laughs> well it's been a pleasure talking to you and thank you for spending some time with me today no problem at all i've enjoyed it and if you like what you've heard and seen today um please hit the subscribe button below um subscribe to my channel i will be interviewing many more artists in the in the months and years to come and um, so just click the button below and um you can join along for the ride and thank you very much